All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kodiak Hoos. I'm here with my buddy, Zach. Zach, say something how's crazy. How's it going? He said, how's it going? Make sure you answer. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you. But anyways, what are we up to today, Gangaroo? We are driving uh, deep into the frontier, not really the frontier this time, actually, per se. However, farm country, America. Yes, ma'am, good and you. We're actually going to catch what? What are we fishing for today? Oh, fishing for catfish. Some big old cat daddies. Cat daddies, cat mommies, I guess we're gonna have to. I can't tell the difference between the two, can you? <laughs> no. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, gang. Hopefully we catch some fish and um, thinking about eating one. They taste like poop, but it's worth a shot. Bye, forever. All right, gang, so we ran into a little roadblock, no pun intended. So now we're gonna have to go around. That seems like a plan, yes. Or we go through it. I say we go through Let's it. Let's go through it. We can't do that, but. <laughs> um, so now we gotta figure out how not to hit this mailbox. We're golden. Um, we gotta figure out a way to get to our location. This is kind of like being an airplane company. Um, what are they? Airlines, right? One of those. Like we have delays, see that? Not because there's ice on our wings, because the dang road's closed. That's cool. Ah, how rude. Oh, Yablica. Somebody doesn't have their seatbelt on. <laughs> Whoopsies, Trish, she's uh, talking to you. All right, gang, we're at the spot. Let's throw in some lines and uh, I guess see what happens. All right, ready? All right, gang, here we go. After I pick up the bait. What? Uh, the hot dogs, it's kind of like a plan B. But the main ingredient on this here adventure Rooney is chicken liver. Gross. Oh boy, I have to traverse down this steep mountainous slope. Oh. Now, if you guys have seen my um, catch and cook video, you know I love to use chicken liver. Um, works. It does a bang up job, works pretty well. Uh, so we're gonna give it a go and see if we can't catch ourselves here an old catfish. Good new. Okay, now the worst part, I always dread dealing with this chicken liver. It is super duper gnarly and nasty. And finding a piece that stays on is also another challenge, but actually that might work just fine here. Okay, now we just try to navigate out here the best we can on the old plank. Boom, see that? We get a fish, we're gonna know like instantly or possibly five to 10 minutes prior. Alrighty, go ahead, sir. Full sender. That was way too hard. That out about the <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Voila. Bon appetit. Alright, we got a fish. Boom, look at that. Nothing too fancy, but it's good. Where's my pliers at? Also, I hate these pliers. I've gone through like seven different pairs. Really close up with a fishy. Okay, there's the worm. Where's the hook? Well, these pliers blow. Ow. <laughs> Whoopsies. It's time to return him to his natural habitat. The real river monster. Good new. He's running. Let's see what we got. Probably a stegosaurus. Oh yeah, he's starting to surface. Big channel, channel cat. Let's see if I need the net or not. I... Nah. Yeah, I probably should. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Thank you. Boom! Let's go! Oh boy, it's heavy. Look at that. Not too bad, I will say. Okay, I hooked him good. Where's my pliers at? Okay, now if you guys watched my uh, catch and cook gone wrong, catfish have stingers on them. You gotta be pretty cautious here. See that? He's up, he's ready. That's one of them. Sorry, that was just for a thumbnail. That's how you wanna hold them, right? So he's got a spike here, here, oh, and here. You didn't get me yet. But yeah, ladies and gents, that is a channel cat. Now I'm gonna let this guy go because I don't feel like eating them. They taste pretty horrible. As they say on Long Island, I can't do a Long Island. Do people in Long Island have accents? <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> Brooklyn, how do, how do people talk in Brooklyn? They're like, oh, I'm from Brooklyn, mate. That's Australia. All right, here we go. What up, guy? All right, guys, we're not doing too hot. We had that one fish on, but nothing since then. So we're gonna call it, it's pretty late at night and we wanna be in bed by the time Santa Claus gets here because Christmas in July, that's a thing, right? Yep. Yep, you heard it right from the man himself. So um, we're gonna have to continue this adventure. Don't go nowhere. Make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, and of course subscribe. But we still got way more fishing to do in this video. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be freaking amazing, guy. All righty, and we are here, gangaroo. Oh boy. Hit my elbow well, let's see if we can make some stuff happen if not then i have no faith in the modern world as we know it world war 10 here we go probably gonna happen if i don't catch a fish not because of me but i don't know i think that's what um political leaders do all right here we go so I'm thinking there's a possibility, not saying it's gonna happen, but there's a possibility we can catch a bass here, perhaps. Um, panfish, that's that's another option. Um, the Loch Ness Monster, Sasquatch, America's Most Wanted. So I guess we're, ooh, that's new. That was not there like three days ago. Ugh, like a cat. Okay, here we go. First in the shoot. We got the old map spinner. Love these things, do an incredible bang up job. Okay, here we go very light setup here we just got the little tiny little kid rod thing now it's my trout rod but we're just gonna baby it right a little worm little little snack for whatever decides to come on the other end of this line yeah oh is that a oh yeah a, we got a fish all righty, oh boy, and this little eight pound line. All righty, there we go, gangaroo. It's a nice bass. All righty. Ow. Oops. All righty, not too bad. Nice large mouth bass. That's weird. He honestly did not hit very hard. Typically, I feel like bass hit pretty, pretty fast and pretty quick, but. Nah, he took it, chilled for a minute, and then boom, look at that. So not too bad. See if we can catch another. Mind you, I've been fishing with uh, lures like all morning, and I decided to switch it up to a worm. That's right, homegrown American worms. Just kidding, they're Canadian, I think. Canadian night crawlers. A. See if we can get another guy. That was a good sized bass. Not too bad. All on the Canadian farm grown, Americana, Mexicana, homegrown worm. How many times did I say homegrown? I was kind of nervous he was gonna pop off because I got this little lightweight rod with like six pound test on it. Oh, got another one. Alrighty, 
Boom, look at that, Gangaroo. Let's go. Okay, so this, that is a perch. Little yellow perch. If you catch enough of these, they make pretty good food. All right, little guy, back to the water you go. Alrighty, gang, the fishing's picking up. Hopefully it continues to go this well because one, it's a lot of fun, and two, yes. All righty. Oh, the GoPro turned off for that one. All righty, now we got ourselves a little sunfish. Not too bad. It seems like it's turning out to be a, a not too bad kind of day. These things kind of blow though. They got all them uh, spikes on them. Okay, it's like doing surgery. Also, don't drink coffee before you do this. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I'm pretty much like a dentist, right? But nice little bluegill. Time to go back to the wild things. Oh, yablaka. Guys, this is literally like the easiest, simplest way to fish. So even if you've never gone fishing before or want to get into it, it's a really good way to start is literally just a hook and a worm. There's all these dudes out there with these high tech gizmos and gadgets. And I can tell you from experience, I spent like the whole morning fishing with lures that generally work at this spot and I got zipped and I got bamboozled. Not one gosh darn fish. Boom, switch to the old worm rooney We're killing it. Watch, I won't get another fish. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Sorry about that, guys. Had some issues. Apparently, cameras don't like blazing sun and solar radiation or rays or whatever you call it. You get the point. Phones, cameras, GoPros, they don't like the sun, I guess. So that's, that's good. It's not good. Anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed today's episode of Kodiak Coos. Make sure you guys let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you give that video a like and, of course, smash that bell. Until next time, have a Kodiak Coos day.